Uh, I tell people all the time, it's, we have the ultimate home court advantage here at Eastern Michigan. Not only the barn, but the energy that was in there every night. Every night, the fans, you know, not the fans, the community at Ypsilanti, they were always behind us. They were always there supporting us. And I, I still remember how the field house smells. It had a certain smell. <laughs> I still remember the smell of the field house. And just to be a part of something that historic was great. The biggest thing that stands out, not in beating Duke, but that particular team was the camaraderie we had. And I remember the selection, the selection uh, Sunday in the field house and seeing that we played Duke and just the excitement, just from the announcement of playing Duke basketball, the great Blue Devils and Coach K, and leading up to that game, the confidence that we had going into that game. It was, it was different. It, it was different because when we, the previous year we played Wisconsin, I had the confidence, but I know the rest of my teammates were that confident. But when we played Duke, it was a, a totally different team. Well, I, you know, I, I heard Earl Boykin say it, and he's right. Uh, the players are the ones that make, you know, that make the teams, the coaches guide the players, give them opportunities. But we really had good players back then. If you look at each team in the league, there were some key standout players that performed that could play at the next level. It didn't matter if they're mid-major, high-major. I just, I hate that terminology. If you're a basketball player, you're a basketball player. And obviously, we had some very good coaches back then. So. Uh, for having uh, the success we did. We had multiple teams go to the Sweet 16, and uh, that's important. So the league really wasn't a golden year and golden age, and uh, I think those were some very good years in MAC, in MAC basketball. You know, I always t keep an eye on EMU basketball. It's, uh, you know, I talked to Coach Murphy, uh, obviously yesterday in preparation for a game, but uh, I've tried to stay in touch with former coaches, uh, former players the, the best I can. I, you, you just never forget you know, where you coached. And, not only did I coach at Eastern Michigan for 11 years, but I coached in the state of, of, of Michigan for 19 years. So I'm still following Siena Heights, I'm still following uh, Eastern Michigan, and I'm still gonna follow Cal and, and Rice University because once you coach at a place, you, you know, you have connections there and relationships and you want those two schools to do well. Coach Brown was one of only two coaches that even believed that I could play Division One basketball. And, you know, he, he changed my life. He changed my life by giving me an opportunity to come to this university, and I can never thank him enough for that. Well, it's interesting. Earl and I have actually talked at length about this subject, and you know, for any coach to be successful, you, you have to understand your players. And I think Earl Boykins helped me understand the importance and the chemistry of a player-coach relationship because. Uh, Earl was unique in this way. He, he really was a coach on the floor. When Earl brought ideas to me, I didn't I used to listen to very many players, but when Earl brought up an idea at first, I said, hey, what is, I'm the player, he's a coach, he can't bring that idea to me. But the more I thought about his ideas, the more I stayed open to what he brought, his perceptions of, of how he saw the game, how he knew his teammates, because he, because he knew his teammates better than I did. Uh, I really, really learned a lot. So I think that Earl taught me that coaches can still learn from players. You know, it's like I believe as a player. Players win. I, I'm a coach, but you need talent. You need talent. You need talent. But, you know, what coaching does is it allows me to get back to the game of basketball that's given me so much. Uh, it's, it's a great game, and, you know, for me to have an opportunity to give something back to younger generations is, is fun. You know, I still uh, think about my, re my interaction with players and coaches, but I still get that as an analyst because I attend practices. Uh, I do workshops for teams in the off season. Uh, I'm still able to interview players and talk to coaches in the off season. So I don't. I really can get my fill of staying close to the game. But, but I think once you're a coach, you're always a coach. You never quite get over not coaching. So uh, that that feeling is going to be with you for a long time. But I'm I'm very satisfied with what I'm doing and the direction that my career and my life has taken.